You know how you always hold your breath during the Miss USA pageant, hoping the girls don't fall flat on their face and hoping they don't give cringeworthy answers during the Q&A? Who am I kidding? That's really the best part. Well, at this year's Miss USA pageant, Miss Nevada took a little tumble after she took off her detachable skirt on stage. The trip was super minor, and she ended up in the top five anyway. But when it came to the Q&A session, she stumbled a bit more. Take a look. What I would do to improve race relations in the U.S. is get more races grouped together and be able to be with each other in a in a non, let's see, I apologize. I think what we need to do is bring, <laughs> we need to be more accepting of each other and we need to bring people together. That's what I think we need to do. Meanwhile, Miss Rhode Island also struggled with her answer. Take a look. Do you think political correctness is hurting or helping this country and why? That's a very good question. <laughs> I think that it's a balance of both. Um, we definitely need... I'm sorry, may you please repeat the question once more? Copy that. Hey, she handled it gracefully and landed the number three spot, so it couldn't have been that bad. Ultimately, Miss Oklahoma, Olivia Jordan, was crowned the new Miss USA. She's a 26-year-old graduate of Boston University with a bachelor's degree in health science. As for Donald Trump, who is a co-owner of the pageant, he was a no-show. He's been in the hot seat after slamming Mexican immigrants a few weeks ago. So NBC and Univision, who usually air Miss USA and Miss Universe, dropped both pageants, and cable network Reels aired it instead. The takeaway here, always drama surrounding a pageant. Thanks, Miss Congeniality, for teaching us that one. We seriously would have never thought that in a million years. Thoughts on the show? Tweet me at Christy Koshapa and check back here every Monday and Wednesday for more celebrity news.